exclusive. A Star Wars The Acolyte Rio costs exploded to $230 million, according to ta new tax documents. Holy dang. Holy jays. Exclusive United Kingdom tax documents filed by the Walt Disney Company's UK branch revealed that Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company spent over 172 British, Great British, uh, British pounds equivalent to 231 million USD on the production of The Acolyte, a prequel series set in... Wow. Wait, so when Hesley, Leslie Hedlund said that they spent around that much, oh, they said 170, 180 million. They're not saying USD, they're saying British pounds. Holy crap. In an interview with Vanity Fair, the Acolyte series creator Leslie Hetland publicly claimed the show cost 180 million, which was assumed by several to be stated as US dollars. Exactly. Man, what a liar. It is evident that if Hetland had knowledge of the series financials, she had was more likely referring to the amount in Great British pounds. According to exchange rates at the time of this article, this means that the Acolyte cost almost $130 million. Holy crap. And the thing is, season two was canceled. They did not renew they didn't renew it. So it's not like they canceled the acolyte halfway through, but man, holy, this is this is a big, big L for them. Yeah, money, yeah, money laundering, right? For P. Diddy. With an eight episode in this series, this means that Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy allowed the budget of the now canceled show to balloon to 28.75 million per episode. Also, while failing to attract an audience, UK tax filings for the Acolyte only account for what was spent on the series before September 23rd, sorry, 24th of 2023. So it is possible that a figure might have been adjusted as additional tax filings surface. The show was released on June 4th, 2024 and failed to register on the Nielsen Top 10 overall chart and only appeared on the Nielsen Top uh top 10 original streaming chart at 488 million watch minutes before dropping off the charts altogether in the show's fourth week man the show didn't manage to reappear on the nelson uh, the nielsen top 10 original chart by july 16th when the finale aired garnering 335 million watch minutes before ultimately being canceled by the walt disney company this show was really really bad like i said yesterday on uh, what's it called again? A minority home stream uh, for her birthday. Tugs, everyone on this show, especially Tugs. Uh, it, this is all for the cringe, desperate housewives, uh, people who are like alone by themselves, crazy cat ladies who basically are, you know, just, just wants to, you know, drink uh, wine and hate their lives. And then they, it, it's, it's the same people who love twilight the people who like shipping stuff but man 230 million dollars down the drain this is this is a pretty big fail for uh lucas right and the thing is that you have uh you know uh amandela stenberg and uh manny jacinto coming out and saying that they're gonna try their darndest to make sure season two is a thing i wonder if there's still that change.org thing you know that the petition but the thing is nobody's talking about this anymore i don't think there's any toys for this and here's the thing if your toys if if you have toys and they don't sell your movie sucks or your tv show sucks it's that simple right like you have you have a lot of these anime manga very cool tv shows movies that uh, have really cool action figures right like the witcher you have my hero academia like a bunch of anime stuff hot toys you know, Deadpool, Wolverine. You have a lot of those, and a lot of them sell, right? Even stuff like this. This, uh, what's it called again? My, uh, my Batman Crocs that I just got, right? That this bat, this Batmobile, uh, Tim Burton Batmobile Crocs, right? And this thing was sold out. I guarantee you, if they came out with a Star Wars The Acolyte Crocs edition with Osha and Quimir kissing each other, no one will. Pro I, okay, there are probably going to be some cringe people who buy it, but no one will, it, it will be like, oh, we lost money making it, right? Because no one will buy them. No one's going to buy their merch. And this is what happens when you make shitty stuff on top of 
and Mandela Stenberg and everyone, almost everyone on the cast saying that if you didn't like the show, you are a bigot, racist, and this show's not made for you, right? You get what you fucking deserve.